over time. It's really, really easy, and there's a lot of videos online that make it way more complicated than it has to be. So let's say you have 0912, right? So this is 0912 hours. This is the military time. So it's the same as saying it's 912 in the morning, because it's got a zero in front of it. It's not complicated. So anytime you get up before 12, we're going to show that again. So let's say it's 10 a.m., then it's 4. So it's 1024. So this is still normal time. It's military time and it's regular time. It's the same. So the only time it changes and people start getting confused is when it gets past 12. So 1245 in military time is 1245 on our clock too. But when you get to 13, uh, let's say 1312, military time, you just take away 12. So you're going to subtract 12, and you're going to end up with 1, 12. So it's 1, 12 in the afternoon. Past 12 in military time, once you get to 13, all the way up to 2300, it's the afternoon. So let's say you have 2200 hours. Just take away 12, and you end up with, it's 10. It's 10 in the morning. I mean, 10 in the afternoon. 10 at night. So 2200 hours on a military clock is 10 at night. So just take away the 12. And if you want to reverse that, say it's 10 o'clock at night, and you have to write that in military time, you just add 12. You add 12, and you end up with 2200 hours. And that's it. It's very, very simple.